Welcome to the Tottenham America channel. Today we will be previewing Tottenham Hotspur's next fixture in the Premier League match week 23 as they take on Leicester City away from home at the KP. This is actually a rescheduled fixture. This was supposed to happen in December, but it was postponed, I believe, from Leicester's point of view after they had a small COVID outbreak with them. I think it was ours. Um, no, it was actually Leicester's. Was, was our, Leicester's? our request got uh, denied somehow. <laughs> But yeah, it was Leicester who postponed it, and it's been rescheduled for this um, week. Uh, it will be at the King Power Stadium um, on Wednesday, January 19, 2022 at 2.30 p.m. Eastern Time. And you can watch this match in the USA on USA Network or Universo and Univers Univision Now. We're going to move into the te both teams' last games. For Leicester, it was a 4-1 win at the KP in the FA Cup against Watford in the, I believe it was round of 64 in the FA Cup. And Tottenham, on the other hand, it was in the Carabao Cup when we had all those goals disallowed against Chelsea. We lost one now in the second leg of the semi-final. Yeah. Uh, not 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 a great result for us. Buster will be flying into this match with confidence. Last time we played, it was a very convincing 4-2 win um, to send us through to the Conference League, which we're already out of. Um, uh, Vardy with the double for Leicester, while Kane, a Schmeichel own goal, and a late superstar show from Gareth Bale with two goals from the 87th minute onwards meant that we secured European football for the 2021-2022 season. We're going to move into team news. For Leicester, uh, Sumare is out, possibly COVID-19. Vardy is out with an ankle injury. Uh, Evans is out with a hamstring injury. Pereira is out with a knee injury. Bertrand is out with a knee injury. Castagne is out with a thigh injury. Fafana is out with an ankle injury. And Amarte, Ijeanacho, Mendy, and Ndidi are all with their countries on international duty in the African Cup of Nations. For Tottenham, uh, Christian Romero is a doubt with a hamstring injury. Eric Dyer is a very, very small doubt with a muscle injury. All the signs that we've heard are leading to, to say that he will be playing. Son is out with his muscle injury. He'll be back early February. And Sergio Reguilón is a doubt with a muscle injury. Now we're going to move on to projected lineups. In between the sticks and goal, we have no one else but Hugo Lloris, who we are looking to sign a new contract with in this January transfer window. It's and as of now, things are going smoothly with his new contract. So and hopefully we'll have it done soon. Yeah. The last appearance he made for us was the first leg of the semifinal. Second leg and Morecambe were played by Pierluigi Gallini. Um, not great performances yeah. from him either. I mean, um, I really want to see... Loris left the trophy here at Tottenham. Yes, don't we all? He's a long-serving yeah. member of our mm -hmm. of our squad. I think eight years. No, maybe even more. I think it's probably stretched to almost ten years now, or nine. Just just under um, ten years. Um, he came in in 2012, so about nine and a half. Now we're gonna move into our center backs. Our ultimate pair of three is back. We have Eric Dyer, Davinson Sanchez, and Ben Davies. Eric Dyer is had a very slight doubt against um, Leicester, but I think he'll I think he'll start. I think we'll see him again. I think we'll see him. Um, it was a very slight doubt even against Chelsea. It was just really precautions that was why he was out of the team. So I think we'll see him back, and we need those three back because I cannot stand we another ninety Dyer. minutes of seeing Jaffa Tanganga defending for Tottenham. Leave. Yes. Uh, moving on to our. Two midfielders. We have Peter Emil Hoybier and Oliver Skip. Uh, I don't think Wilkes will play sub. He'll be a sub because he just won't when he comes off the bench. And I think Conte also just prefers the two Skip Harry Wings and Skip Bjerg. Yeah, he definitely prefers that. Yeah. And they've been pretty solid this yeah. year. Moving on to our two wingbacks. Um, Sergio Reguilon is a doubt for this game, and he may not start. So on our predicted lineup, we have... A right back Emerson and left back uh left wing back, sorry, right wing back, left wing back, uh Ryan Tessingon. 
Yes. Um, Emerson, I mean, he can't I cross. Say, Ryan, he's, Ryan Sessegnon, he's been brilliant recently. Yeah. That loan against Warka, um, was He was brilliant at Warka. Yeah. Um, and then uh, where else did he play? Chelsea. Chelsea, yeah. Um, no, 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 I was talking about Hoffenheim. He that uh, Hoffenheim. Oh, uh, I think you're talking about when he lot. played this season. No, that Hoffenheim loan helped so much for his career. He's really bolstered himself up, and he's stronger physically. Still getting more, in- still getting injuries though. Yeah, still very injury prone. But it's Tottenham. Obviously, someone's gonna yep. get injured. Moving on to our front three. Uh, Hugh Winston is unavailable. So is Steven Bergwijn. Okay, wait. For a second, I was like, "Are you?" Pl- yeah, but okay. Three, two, one, resume. Now we're gonna move on to our three attackers. We have Harry Kane, Lucas Moore, and Giovanni Lo Celso. Human Son and Steven Bergwijn are both out, so I think Giovanni Lo Celso will get a start. Yeah, but we're not gonna see Brian Heal. I know Conte loves Gio, so I think we're gonna see Gio at the front, um, probably in like a four, uh, sorry, three, five, two formation where Gio's kind of an attacking mid. Uh, just behind the two forwards, or we'll see. Uh, the three, three, four, three, four, three. one, or three, 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 four, three four, one, two. one, two. Yeah, that that's what I was talking about. Or we'll see three, five, two, where it's just a flat three across the midfield. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but I really do hope the game does go on. I think it will. I know Co- um, Leicester have had a couple of COVID cases, but I don't think it's anywhere near enough. And I don't even know if they're true. There's been really not not many rumors. There's been like one or two, barely, that say that they have COVID. Um, outbreak over there, but I think what the game will absolutely go ahead and um, Let's move on to our score predictions. My score prediction is Two on Tottenham. I'm going two nil. They're 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 missing Vardy injured um, They're missing a couple players to AFCON So this is our chance to really actually they're missing Vardy and Ikeanacho. Who do they play at the front? James Madison not even a striker. No, no we're going to win 2-0. Um, we have to take advantage of these games that we have in hand, um, especially when not many other Premier League teams are playing this week. No, I'm going to say 3-1. 3-1? All right. They I'm got gonna... they got Ndidi out, Pereira out, Evans out. Who else? Fafana, Castagne. Fafana, yep. So they've got a good hefty injury list, and we have to take advantage of that so we can get uh, really make use of these games in hand. But that is it for our... Um, match preview. If you enjoyed, make sure you smash the subscribe button. Hit the like button if you enjoyed. Um, comment down below what your projected score is. And until next time, come on, you Spurs!